Good morning, friends. Today, I'm focusing on my simplified goals of walking, water intake, and tracking my food. Thanks for coming along with me. Let's get going. I've been striving to go to bed and wake up at the same time each day, and it's been really beneficial because it helps me get up and get walking. One of the great things about going for a walk so early in the morning is the peace and quiet. And then also I often get to see a beautiful sunrise. Now that I've been walking consistently, I can definitely walk for a full hour without much pain and I would love to get where I could walk an average of 20 minute miles. I have made it a habit for my journal time to include a gratitude list and a time of prayer and setting my intentions for my day, but I have also started writing down how I'm feeling or how I've been sleeping because I have been reading some books about the importance of hormones and how your hormones affect your health. Do any of y'all practice syncing your cycle? If you do, leave me a comment and let me know if you feel like it's benefiting you at all. So for breakfast today, I'm gonna use the Trader Joe's salsa on my breakfast tacos. I'm just using some leftover roast and a scrambled egg with some banana peppers. I like things pretty spicy. And then some carb balanced tortillas. And this makes for a really satisfying and hearty breakfast. From time to time, I do like to have a smoothie or a protein shake as a meal replacement. And because I have so many bananas, I thought, why not do this today for lunch? I like to grab out my magic bullet, and then I'm trying out this oat milk today. I'm still experimenting with different kinds of oat milk. This one has 130 calories, and that seems like quite a bit. I know there's other kinds of oat milk that have less calories. And then this is my Keto Perfect Protein Powder. It tastes really good, so that's great and my frozen bananas. I'll just use one of those and then I'll make it nice and thick and icy. And then I also like to use a cup of black cherries and I just blend it all up in my magic bullet and it creates a really delicious chocolatey, it tastes like chocolate covered cherries but in a smoothie form. And this shake ends up being around 435 calories so to me, that's a great meal replacement. with the chocolate it's a great shake and I'm hoping it is going to be filling until I do a little afternoon snack and then a full dinner I'm not super hungry because we had a big breakfast so I'm just going to do this light snack in the afternoon and then a regular dinner so it is quite time we finished all of our homeschool today I've already done my walking I got up early I am planned and ready for teaching tomorrow 
And so during quiet time, I thought I would take a spontaneous trip to run to Walmart, which I do not enjoy going to Walmart a lot of times because it's always insanity. I definitely have my Walmart fashion look on with my crazy hair that I have not brushed yet, even though it is 2.30 in the afternoon, but that is okay. I want to make the most of my time and energy, and I have the option, which doesn't often happen, to have my husband home right now during quiet time so that I could run and get the stuff that I need without having to take all three of my kids. So I'm going as I am hair crazy, clothes crazy, I'll fit right in. And I want to pick up, I need to pick up some household goods and then a couple of grocery items because this week I am really working on tracking what I'm eating and eating more whole foods. The last couple of weeks, my weight has just skyrocketed. And even though I wasn't having any binge eating, moments. I think just eating a lot of processed foods, for me, that means my weight is going to increase. I'm going to be bloated. I'm going to retain a lot of water. So several people have left comments saying, track what you eat, track what you eat. And I am going to do that. I think that's great advice. And I think I need to pinpoint, yeah, what it is that I'm eating and really even how much. As I've been tracking what I'm eating today, calories add up really fast. So I'm just trying to be more mindful of what I'm eating. And I'm also reading this book called In the Flow. It is about syncing your cycle with your lifestyle. And it's really interesting. It's, I'm really intrigued by this. I'm really intrigued by this concept of eating and exercise and living your life in line with your cycle. I, I don't know, I think I'm gonna try it out. And I wanna finish the reading about it and then I see how I could implement it and see if it's helpful for me. But I do think on the weeks leading up to my period and then on my period, I just don't ever want to cook. Y'all know that cooking is not my thing anyway and it takes a lot of effort for me because I'm still practicing it. But I think if I know that ahead of time, maybe I can be strategic about planning meals and either putting them in the freezer or just planning on eating out some extra times during that week um, at places that serve salads. I don't know, just being prepared. I'm thinking through it. I just want to know myself and I want to live a sustainable lifestyle and I want to be successful in my health journey. And you know, sometimes you have to pay the money now and choosing healthier foods and eating in a healthier way or you can pay the money later when you have to pay for medical care. So, yeah. What are y'all eating for dinner? Tell me, your, tell me what you're gearing up for for fall. What are your fall recipes? I need to start thinking through what I want to start rotating for our family for recipes. And then I've also been thinking a lot about how, like, how we can model healthy eating for our families but we can't really force them to, to eat healthily. It has to be their choice as well. What do y'all do? Do you make your kids eat what you serve them? Do you make them finish their plates? Do you make them take X amount of bites? We've kind of fallen into the, if we've made it for you, you have to try as many bites as your age. That is our strategy. And then you can have a different option after that. But it just wears me out. The food fight with myself, the food fight with my kids and my family. So what do y'all do? Tell me what you do. Okay, I am here ready to brave Walmart. Do y'all feel that way about going to Walmart sometimes? Like you just have to like gear up and put your battle suit on. That it, but maybe I need to change my mindset and realize like, no, this is gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a great experience at Walmart. And they're gonna have everything I need. Okay. I've found it challenging to get my kids to eat salad, but once I framed it in more of a salad adventure where they're exploring different types of salad and different dressings, they've responded really well. Our family has been experimenting with different salad bags, and this one was great. Even our sons liked it. 
I love family themed PJ sets, but flannel Halloween pajamas in Arizona where the temperatures are still triple digits is just a little bit much for me. When I want to have a really simplified breakfast, I do avocado with a slice of toast and then these chicken and herb sausages. I love my digital food scale. I don't know how I functioned without it before. It is so handy, super easy to use. I love that it has a tear option for the weight. So that way you can set your vessel on the scale and make sure it zeroes out before you put your food on it. So if you don't have one of these, I highly recommend getting one. So this is my afternoon snack, one ounce of cashews. And then for dinner, I had some roast, some mushrooms and onions, half of an avocado, and some Yukon Gold potatoes. And I tracked everything I ate for the day, and that was just under 1,800 calories. As you can see, I have not updated my goal chart since week 32. I have been writing down my goals in other places, but I just got out of this habit where I wasn't posting it up in my bathroom, where I was seeing it regularly. And so I thought it was time to erase this and refresh it so that it is on my mind, my goals that I am trying to achieve, and that I can be very intentional about these new simplified goals. It's so hard to believe that I have been documenting my weight loss journey for the last 48 weeks. It does not feel like it has been 48 weeks. Taking the time to write down my goals weekly and to really track them, even if I haven't done it perfectly, it has been such a helpful tool for me to hold myself accountable. And it has also helped me to see what habits that I think I am doing, but in fact I'm actually not doing them regularly. It's just helped me to learn about myself better, and I think that's one of the most important parts about a health journey is learning about yourself and accepting yourself for who you are and not putting judgment on yourself and recognizing that your body might be different than someone else's and that's not good or bad it just is and you might have different likes or preferences and that is okay too and just to find your natural rhythms is really really important and to embrace them and to embrace yourself. It's just so important to love yourself and not let your self-worth or your joy come from your size. I often have trouble sleeping, so before bed I have started putting my phone away, no screens, and just reading a light fiction book so I can just calm down, relax my mind, and then go to sleep. Thanks for spending the day with me. I hope y'all are all having a wonderful week and doing things that are helping you build a life you love.